Happy 4th of July! This is the July 4th edition of Tanks Vlog. Wrapping up the day in sports. And the Mets are so bad, they had to go to Canada because the stench was too overwhelming. And of course, the Mets grabbed in the lead, had a 5 nothing lead, 6-1 lead. Then Zach Wheeler came out of the game and it was time for the bullpen. The Mets got off good early. They scored five runs. They had a 5 nothing lead. Then it was 6-1. to one. Zach Wheeler was cruising. But his pitch count got too high. Our moron, the manager, called on the bullpen. He brought in Swarzak, who stunk up the joint. Then he brought in Gazelman, who gazucks again. The season's a nightmare. The Mets lost again. It was another bullpen meltdown. Na -na 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 -na. A bullpen meltdown. The season's a nightmare. It's never gonna end. They're gonna lose a hundred, maybe a hundred and ten. They can't get out of their own way. When they pitch, they don't hit. And their manager's an idiot. It's a bullpen meltdown. And you know what sucks? You know what really, really sucks? Is the Nationals are not a good team. They were beatable. Tanner Rorock is now 3-10. and 10. The Nationals are 500. Bryce Harper can't hit his way out of a paper bag. They got bludgeoned by the Boston Red Sox 11-4 in Washington. Red Sox are on pace to win 108 games. Yankees on pace to win 107. I mean, woof. Right now, you got the American League. He's got four teams right now. The, the, the Indians are sort of like the sneaky fifth team right there in the easy division. Just cruise control, going to win the Central. We already know who the five playoff teams in the American League are. We already know. I mean, maybe the Mariners could collapse. Someone could catch the Mariners. But Yankees are in, Astros, Red Sox, Indians. And good for the Mariners. This will be the first time they made the playoffs since uh, 2001. That leads the Cleveland Browns. Ding! As the, who that would lead the Cleveland Browns is the team with the longest drought in all of sports. Uh, but, and of course the Yankees, they got a nice win today. They they, they actually, almost like the Mets, they, they had a 5 nothing lead that almost got away, but... The Yankees were able to hold on uh, as uh, Giancarlo Stanton gave him some breeding room, allowing uh, Aroldis Chapman to get the save without much pressure in the ninth. Elsewhere, the Cubs beat the Tigers 5-3. The Brewers beat the Twins 2-0. It was the Phillies 3-2 winners over the Orioles. The White Sox beat the Reds 12-8. Battle of Florida saw the Rays beat the Marlins 9-6. The Astros beat the uh, Rangers in the Battle of Texas 5-3. It was the Rockies rocking the Giants 8-1. The Indians edged the Royals 6-4. The Athletics were 6-2 winners over the Padres. The Diamondbacks were 4-2 winners over the Cardinals. Mariners beat the Angels 4-1 as Shohei Otani made his return and went 0-4-4. And the surging Dodgers beat the Pirates 
eight to three. In Russia, it was a Scandinavian showdown as Sweden beat Switzerland one nil to reach the quarterfinals. Then it was three Lions, England. One nothing lead, trying to hold on, trying to hold on, and they got tied in injury time. And things started looking bleak for England as Colombia had a 3 2 lead after making a save in a PKs. But then, then, wouldn't you know it? The Colombia guy missed the kick, he hit the crossbar, giving England new life. England with the new life ends up. Tying the PK, made a big save, and winning it 4-3 to three to advance. Harry Kane once again scored another big goal. And England, they're looking really good. They're looking strong. <sighs> I'm tired of these bullpen meltdowns. I honestly am. It's been a total nightmare. This season's been a total nightmare for the Mets. Well, anyway, our three stars are Antonio Sensatilea of the Rockies, who didn't allow a run in seven innings while allowing just three hits. Avial Garcia of the White Sox, who at three for six with two home runs. And Harry Kane, who continues to lead the way for England in the World Cup. Today's birthday shout-out goes to... Legendary Notre Dame basketball coach Digger Phelps, who turned 77. You know, some of the great birthdays that were on 4th of July are no longer with us. And that's two two owners who definitely were unique. And that was Al Davis and George Steinbrenner. It was interesting that both of them were born on the 4th of July. And we take a look back, speaking of the 4th of July and the Yankees. To 1983, Dave Rigetti throwing a no-hitter against the Red Sox at Yankee Stadium. I remember watching this game. No, I wasn't wa watching. Not I shouldn't say watching the game. The game was on Sports Channel. My grandparents didn't have cable. A lot of cable wasn't even that big in 1983. A lot of people didn't have cable in 1983. Uh, but I remember listening to the game on the radio at my grandparents' house and not knowing what the hell a no-hitter was. I was seven years old. It's the first time I ever even... Heard the phrase no hitter as David Getty uh, blanked the Red Sox four to nothing. Check out the uh, story at Barstool Sports, the full story, and also go to Sports Encyclopedia where Sports History Lives. And it's Fourth of July. What better way to celebrate? Let's listen to Allow Me to Be Frank. We got Jeff Nadu talking about gambling, uh, college football, everything, the Spectrum, World Cup. I mean, big man on campus. You really want to listen to this. And, of course, I do a Tanks Tale on the Chicago Bulls Dynasty. you got to listen. SoundCloud, iTunes. What better day to do it than on the 4th of July? Good day. <laughs>